More, more aluminum, more. But I'll tell you what, these, these look different. These look different. I'm starting to understand this aluminum boat madness here in the Pacific Northwest. Delaney, by the time I leave this show, I'm gonna be a pro. <laughs> I'm gonna know everything about these boats. <laughs> it's aluminum madness here. <laughs> this is, guys, Seattle is, like if you want an aluminum boat, I mean, I've never, ever, ever, ever seen so many aluminum style boats because that's what they like over here in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. And, and what brand is this, uh, Delaney? This is the Kingfisher brand. Uh, one of the largest builders in our space. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been doing this for uh, quite a few years. And so a lot of experience from Alaska all the way down to California. Uh, we, got, we do something a little different. I'll tell you, they look, they look very rugged, like hard, like tough. No Is question. That, uh, Heavy gauge, all welded hull, very tough. I haven't, even, I haven't even hit it, but I'm just saying like the perception and the look I don't know if, if that's maybe with the paint shop. Let's get on it, I'll tell you. All right. Maybe we can start tapping, some, kicking some tires or something. All right, well, I want to just sort of share a little piece with you first. All right, go ahead. So right here, this decal identifies something very, very unique about us. Okay. It's the Preflex exclusive technology that we're famous for. Okay. So what that is in a nutshell, I'll give you an example. We pre-bend bend, bend or pre-load the side of the boat before we introduce the floor to it. And that inherently delivers a lot more strength okay. without, without the use of all this extra reinforcement that the flat-sided boats need to get the strength. See, flat side is weak, preflex strong. Okay, cool. So as a result, we don't need as much horsepower to push the boat. We're very fuel efficient. You don't need as much truck to pull the boat. And the on-water characteristics are just incredible. Handles beautifully. What boat is this? This, uh, is a, this is our 30 foot offshore. 30 uh, footer, wow. Yeah. So we're very talking popular, about a big boy. Very popular in these parts of the world. And we sell a lot of these boats for, for the Pacific as well as, heck, we just did one for the Great Lakes just last week. So uh, it's catching on. Let's get on there. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So a lot of unique features. Um, Definitely a fishing boat first, but the cabin, she just loves it. So before we get in the cabin, we've got a side access door, which is great for people with mobility issues or if you want to get the halibut on board easier. Oversized fish lockers with pump outs. So you can put a lot of tuna, a lot of salmon in there. Both sides are washed down. And you've got, of course, another fish box back here. Is there a live well option on this guy? or There is a live well option on this guy. Okay, cool. So, stepping into the cabin, this particular model has got a step down to lower the center of gravity, and that really delivers some incredible handling as a result. It also has a lower profile to stay out of the wind, and it's always windy in the Pacific Northwest. So and come rainy, on. and rainy. <laughs> it hasn't stopped raining, Delaney. <laughs> There's a kind of point there. It's kind of damp right now, that's for sure. It hasn't stopped raining in this place. <laughs> the rear helm is great here if you're fishing. Okay. You can sit back here and watch your lines, and it gives you some great advantage so you can fish and still control the boat safely. And as well, there's a, there's a bow thruster that's easily accessible from here. Your stereo. Your rear helm here has got all of the controls required for a nice day in the water, nice safe day in the water here. So everybody can join in on the fun and the fishing. So our rear cockpit here, lots of space for, for your friends. So everybody can fish safely. That's a big area. I mean, how many feet is it from, from this door to, to, the, to, to, the, to the back uh, area here? Mm -hmm. About 10 feet? 10 feet. 10 feet, right? Yep. All right, well, let me turn this camera around. Let's jump in here. We'll go ahead and talk about some other other things that they can do on this actual boat. Sounds good. All right, guys. So, so the, the cabin we're, we, is very popular. It's the way it's laid out. Everything is ergonomically designed for comfort and efficiency. Stand up enclosed head with shower. 
Let me see that. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, flush toilet, electric flush toilet. You know, some of the captains like to have the door on the outside. Is that an option on this or no? No, um, we just don't want you to go outside in the gale force wind there to have uh, to do your business here. We'd rather have you enter it from the inside here. That's our thinking well, behind this it. This is some very nice finishes, man. Thank you. This is Sapili wood and this table expands. It's basically the best wood in the marine industry right now. Um, this upholstery is not vinyl. It's all urethane, otherwise known as pleather. So it's great to the touch, very soft. Uh, this table also collapses down, and these this and cushions becomes, pull out. That becomes converts a into a double. Nice. Yes, and uh, stove, fridge, forty gallons of fresh water. Again, sapili wood everywhere. Lots of it. Captain's chair is sitting on the next generation of suspension here by Shockwave, the S5. And this is proven to be a real winner. It works great. Um, our dash, oversized flat dash here for the new flush mounted electronics. Get up to a, a nice large screen in here. Make sure your navigation is nice and easy. This is nice and clean. I, I'll tell you what's going to happen here, guys. Your wife is going to say, listen, you stay from that door <laughs> outside, do whatever you want. Don't come in here and leave me alone. That's, you've got it. <laughs> so, so you guys, these guys have figured it out. I mean, it's really, really nice in here. It's very comfortable. I'm sitting now on one of these seats. And also, if you just wanted to lay out and, you know, you, you might want to just call it a day, you can go ahead and just... You know, take a quick nap and... Oh, what? Uh, on memory foam, no less. On memory foam, look at that. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me a little bit more about some of the options and stuff like that. Um, if, as far as electronics, is that something that you guys will put on or is, or is that has to, has to be done through the dealer? Well, we get the option of doing both, you okay. know. Uh, from a factory standpoint, uh, we do a lot of Simrad and Garmin okay. installs. It really depends on what the dealer wants us to do. They could be getting busy at certain times of the year and they want us to do it. So, Simrad and Garmin. But uh, yeah, you've, you've got a list of options here that it's basically two pages long. You can really dial this ride in exactly the way you want it. You know, and as I mentioned, hot water, showers, to, uh, you know, generators, I could go on. Uh, it really depends on the owner. So, this almost looks like it has a walk around option. Is that. Is that an option? Like, it, I'm looking at this and it opens up. And one of the things that people like is to be able to go towards the front of the boat. And it looks like, yeah, it opens up up there to the bow and you can walk there and hold on to your rails. Absolutely. And get to your anchor. And I'm sure there's a windlass and all there's that. There's a windlass. Option. It could be operated from up there or inside the boat here. But you're right. Everything is very easily mounted. Get your rods, put your crab traps to the top here. Yeah, this cargo rail system here is great. You put your dinging up there. There's tie downs for your equipment. Yeah, we thought about it all. So this is the 2725 model Delaney, right? Yes, sir. Don't forget, it's the weekender version. And it's, it's basically designed to live up to the name here, to spend a nice weekend with friends and family on board. Uh, yeah, this is uh, our eight and a half foot beam boat, and it's uh, a very popular model for us. Again, I'm going to draw the attention to the huge cockpit here, designed for fishing, crabbing, shrimping. That's what it's for. We've also got the same side access door here for getting that big halibut back on board much easier. And again, very sturdy all welded heavy gauge construction. Lots of fish lockers everywhere, including the transom area, aerated as well. Another monster locker here. We've got room for the catch. Also incorporated is our wash down to make sure your blood and guts are not anywhere to be found. Fully self-bailing deck. Large battery access here for 
all of those power requirements that you've got. And again, this door is tough, very weatherproof. Delaney, where are they building these? Um, we're one of the largest builders in North America. And this particular boat here was built in Vernon, British Columbia. Okay. Not far from Vancouver. We're also, uh, uh, our sister company, Renaissance, builds a Duckworth and Wellcraft uh, in Clarkson, Washington. So together we're, uh, we're a big happy family, building a lot of good boats. All right, I see it, I see it. And they're all different, which is what I like. They're all different. A lot of options, different options, guys. So tell me about that flex technology that you were talking about on the 30-footer. Yeah, the pre-flex technology, which is exclusive to Kingfisher. Again, we, during the construction process, we pre-bend the side of the boat to introduce some stored energy there as opposed to a flat-sided boat. So this is important because we are able to optimize the weight of the hull which means that you don't need as much power to push it. It's very fuel efficient. The boat becomes very easy to load and unload from a trailer. But most importantly, our performance ride really delivers. It really delivers. So this boat is powered with twin 150 Yamahas. Um, what are we looking at top speed for, for this 27, 25? Well, just in case you don't believe me, I happen to have my product information guide with twin 150s top speed 45 miles an hour 45 miles an hour so that means you're cruising about good 32 33 with no problem no problem our preferred cruise speed here is about 22 miles an hour that we like and at that uh, you've got a 125 mile range with that cool so let's look inside and uh, see what we got here as far as very very similar Yes. Very similar to the 30. Obviously, you do notice the difference as, as far as in size, but the finishes are exactly the same, guys. It's extensive use of Sapili wood. Uh, again, memory foam in our cutty. We've got a nice oversized flat dash for those flush mount electronics that are so popular today. Captain's chair is sitting on the Shockwave S5 suspension, which is considered one of the best ones in the business. That should be mandatory from the federal government for any man <laughs> over 40. <laughs> over 40, you need to have one of those shock mitigating seats, guys. Absolutely. Your back deserves it. Absolutely. So, so we got a little head here to the left as well. Absolutely, Bellini. yes, and uh, you know, that's important to bring the missus on board. She wants to be comfortable in all aspects of her journey, so. Uh. I'll tell you what, I mean, look, I'm a fan of the 30, right? But here's the question that I always tell myself. Can I get the same thing when, that I get on the 27 that I can get on the 30? And in this case, I got enough amenities, and it's a smaller boat, and for me, this is just my personal opinion, I'm out on the water more because everything is, the smaller you get, the more you use your boat unless you're like a captain or somebody you know you you have that option that is smaller it's easier to manage so and i'll tell you guys this 30 is incredible that we just walked with him uh, this 27 is sweet you guys knocked it out of the park thank you take a lot of pride in our designs this is really 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 nice and of Look course the this. cabin is is very popular the way we've laid it out Main differences again are one foot a little bit narrower than the 30, but the 27 is very popular with us right now. I, I, I see it. I'm telling you guys, I don't really, I don't sugarcoat nothing. This is really, really nice. And I'll tell you, it all depends on what the person wants. Um, now, you can't compare this deck to this massive deck, right? So the buyer is going to say, hey, look, I want to go ahead and put a thousand pounds of halibut on mines but you know maybe this guy says look I, I'm not such a, a crazy diehard I want to go ahead and just get on the water have my family comfortable uh, cool stuff man really yeah. really nice you, you've absolutely nailed it you know more of a, the weekender style boat here uh, compared yeah. to going out for the long haul here for the week so. you know and that matters you know why because yeah. if, if, if the people can't have the best experience on the water mm -hmm. then you know how oh, you know it's hard for me to park and you know 
it, everything gets a little different depending on the thing. Yeah. I really like this model. I like the fact that it has that step down. You know, it's it's lower. Uh, center of gravity. The center yeah. of gravity is lower. I really like that. These doors are. Yeah. Good. Now I can walk up there, hold on to the rail, and get access to my 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 lockers and all that stuff. Absolutely. So you guys have a little step here and everything. Cool. Now, Very easily done. Delaney, if they wanted to put something or utilize the space up, up on the roof, can they use that? Or Absolutely. Is there options that, are, that come with that? We have a full cargo rail system here for, uh, for dinghies, stand-up paddle boards, uh, kayaks, you name it. You know, we are, we are in the adventure boat business. It's not just fishing anymore. This thing, this thing is really, really nice. And I, I like the fact that you guys have those big doors, especially for people that, you know, um, are older and wheelchair accessible and all that. How many inches is that door? This door... It looks like a 36 inch door. Yeah, I think you've absolutely crushed it there. Yeah. yeah. So again, very tough construction. Solid. Delaney, where can they go online to get more specs and more information about this Kingfisher 2725 Weekender? Well, we'd invite everybody to visit us at kingfisherboats.com. You sure you don't need anybody to just get a boat and show it off and do some research and development for a couple years and then I'll give it back? <laughs> <laughs> I might have thought about that person right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're over here. Hey, listen, if you want to see the 30, you want to see the video of the 30 that we just did, I'm going to put a link above on the right so you guys can check out that one. It's a beast. It's a, look at this. It's, 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 it's literally a monster. So if you're a diehard, check this one out. If you're a weekender, with little kids who want to be comfortable, come check this one out. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thank and you. We have another 26 25, but you guys are going to have to go somewhere else to see that because I got to work. <laughs>